Hey everyone, in the last video we looked at loading an image, rotating it, showing it, and writing it to a new file. In this one, we're going to take a look at histogram equalization. And to do that, we have to talk about grayscale images. I have a new image here called Pyramid, and you can see it right here. Big bright spot in the top, some pyramids here, some people. And of course, it's going to be a some, you know, the, the width by height and pixel values by three because it's on the RGB channel. Now we want to get to histogram equalization and we'll get to what all that is in a second. But the first thing we have to do is convert our image to grayscale. Okay, grayscale allows us to do a lot more operations as we'll see throughout this image processing series. So let's start with that. We're going to rewrite IMG with RGB to gray and pass IMG, the old one here, as the argument. And then I'm going to graph this on a new figure we'll do a show of that new grayscaled image. We'll end up with two here. We'll see the original on the left there in color as figure one, and then the new image in grayscale in figure two. And with this grayscale image, we can now extract things like the brightness values. We only are dealing with one color channel. If we look now at our workspace image, we don't have that by three anymore. We just have 2016 by 1512. It's just the length and width of the image in pixels. And we have one color channel that we can work with. And that's what we want. Let's make a histogram of our image. We'll do figure again to put these all on new figures. And we're going to do IM hist and then image. This will create a histogram of the image brightness. Let's take a look at what this looks like here. And here we have on the bottom, this X axis is the brightness of the pixel. So a value of zero is complete darkness and a value of 256 is complete brightness. So full black to white scale here. And we're looking at it for this grayscale image. So you can see it's a relatively bright image, right? There aren't a lot of dark spots, maybe a couple with the people's clothing, maybe some of the writing. And then we have some big bright spots, though, with the sun and the general color palette here. So it's, it's a medium spread, you know, almost like a Gaussian curve or something like that, with a lot of our light being in this mid-range. Now, histogram equalization, its goal is to take this histogram and make it uniform. So all of the colors are represented in a straight line as opposed to having this curve. What we can do is use the hist eq function. We'll do image equals hist eq and then pass image through again. And then we're going to plot this on another figure with I am hist. And you're probably going to want to see the uh, image that comes out too, right? So we'll do an I am show of that. We plot this. We're getting a bunch of figures now and I'll show you how to organize them in a second. But here's our histogram difference. Here's the original histogram that we were looking at before. And now here's the new histogram. Big difference, right? You can see the scale, the y-axis scale has been a little bit different now. But we go from 0 to 256 with a lot more even distribution as opposed to before when we had that Gaussian curve shape. Now what do the actual images look like? Here is the new image and this is the old image. You can see this new image with the new histogram has a wider array of colors represented, right? You can see we have a lot of brights and now we have a lot of darks in comparison with the original image. So it really increased our contrast in a sense. The darker things became really dark and the lighter things became a little bit lighter and it gives us some distinct color palette across the screen now. One thing that's nice is doing these image montages, and I'll show you how to do this. It's going to be nice because we can put these figures side by side. To do this, though, we need two images. So let's have our images, instead of writing over it every time, let's keep the original. So let's do an original thing. We have IMG, RGB to gray. So we have that first histogram, and then before we do the equalization, let's do, let's just make a new name for it. We'll call it image raw, because it's the original image, and we'll create a copy of that. 
So now we have our original IMG that we are working with. We've saved it to image raw. And then we can do the histogram equalization on the image, which is essentially the copy now. And then with that, don't need to see the histograms right now. We will instead do a IM show pair. So showing a pair of images. And we simply need to provide the image names. So we'll do the image raw, our edited image, and then you add the argument as a string of montage. I'm going to do figure here to put this on a new figure. We'll run this. And here, this figure three is our image montage. It's a perfect side by side of the two images that we're looking at. Another way to display images nicely is using MATLAB plotting, subplots, and figures. I have a whole separate video on that in my plotting series. There's a link in the description, of course. And I'll show you how to do that really quickly. What you can do then is you can just create a new figure like this. And let's actually dock that figure so I can show you guys. We'll do a subplot uh, with two rows, one column, and we'll activate that first position. And we'll do I am show of IMG raw like that. And you can see now we have it on the top. And then you can also do, let's do subplot second. We're doing a two by one and we want the second position activated and we'll do I am show of IMG, which should be the new histogram that we just worked with like that. And now we have this figure of some images. Let's see if I can pop this back out. Control shift D again, oh, come on here. There we go, can pop this out. And we have two images this way, vertically or horizontally. The I am show pair command is much better because it gets rid of all this extra white space, but good to know how you can kind of position these using MATLAB subplot commands as well. That's it for this video on how to do grayscale images and then histogram equalizations. Very important first steps in image processing, making sure you can get things into grayscale and understand what these images look like with their brightness values. Those are the things, the, the darkness to the very light and using those to equalize the histogram. That's all for this video. Catch you in the next one. We're moving forward with our imaging processing series.